I suspect it was more than intuition alone that led you to us. So, how might I be of service, Dr. Reed? I've come to put an end to this insufferable blackmailing, Dorothy. Doctor, you think your warnings scare me? I've stolen and plied, blackmailed and lied, but what else am I to do? I'm all these people have. You've convinced me of the sincerity of your actions and their noble justifications. But all the same, blackmail is a crime, and it will stop Nurse Crane. So, are you going to turn me over to the authorities? <sighs> no. Your place is here. Jailing you would be an even greater crime. So? Here is my proposition. I'll look the other way on your little enterprise. In exchange, you will resign from the Pembroke Hospital and provide me with medical supplies when the need arises. Dr. Reed, that sounds like a business proposition. My accomplice, then. No, just a privileged client. My research may require the occasional rare piece of equipment or ingredient. I'll pay good coin in exchange Fair and honest, to help finance your noble endeavors. We have ourselves a deal, Doctor. Good customers are always welcome. Yes, Nurse Cray. We have a deal. Welcome back, Dr. Reed. Good evening, nurse. How should I address you? Dorothy? Dorothea? Miss Crane? Dorothy is all right. If you don't mind me calling you Jonathan. That's fine with me. What can I do for you then, Jonathan? Goodbye for now, Dorothy. Keep up the good work. 